heed these words before you take your wife to bed. Before you bundle up together, heed this advice about the weather. When the grape is bursting on the vine, ah, tis much too hot to intertwine, but when the frost is on the pumpkin, that's the time for Dickie Duncan. <laughs> We hope this show will warm your heart. But one last thing before we start, before anyone says that this show sucks, hey, what do you want for 20 bucks? photography. Uh, we, we are not Kim Basinger and Alec Baldwin and all those fabulous people, but it's very dangerous for dancers or singers to catch a flash in the eye when they're performing. Uh, no recording equipment. I don't want to be sued. Um, we're going to ask that the audience, uh, we have a very big night, and we're going to ask that the audience be quiet at the beginning of people's performances because the sound bounces around in here and we need to hear musical cues. Now, first question, can everybody see? Yes! Yeah? Oh, good, good. Okay, so then we don't need to shift around. Um, normally, I'm a bartender here, so I have to say this. Please tip your bartender and tip your waiters. They work hard. They're cussing me out back in the corner. We have no room to move. We don't work here to make friends. We work here to make money. Okay. Um, before I start, I want to talk a little bit about the show. And when I was making notes about tonight, I was like, what am I going to say about this event? Because everyone keeps asking me, what is a show? And I'm like, well, it's a variety show. And to the best of my ability, I kind of think of it as vaudeville toward the ninth, or vaudeville of the 90s toward the year 2000. Um, the show represents the best of the Upper West Side and the flavor of this community and its extensions. But most of all, when I kept thinking about putting this show together, two words came to me, and they are the same two words I learned when I was 15 years old and I was a young dancer. One was aesthetic, and the other was process. And I'm going to take a minute to pontificate about that so you know where we're coming from. All right. Um, aesthetic was explained to me in terms of its opposite, which is anesthetic. And a, doc a doctor gives you an anesthetic to numb your nerves so that you don't respond to any stimulation. So anything that's aesthetic will set off an emotion, will stimulate your nerves. So if you hate us tonight, if you love us tonight, if we bring a tear to your eye or you cuss us out after the show, we've done our job because we've stimulated your nerve. So uh, part of our job is to be aesthetic. Oh, I love this. No matter what I do, my friends will love me. I can suck. I can kick my shoes off. I love this. Um, the second word I think about is process. Uh, to me, life is a process, not a product. And this, is, this wasn't a show that I visualized. OK, we're going to start with this. We're going to do this. What happened was I said, um, I got a barn. Let's do a show. And all of my friends came to me and said, gee, I really like belly dancers. And I'm like, well, I really want to dance. And Natalie's a good singer. So how this show came together was by a process of hanging out at the bar and talking to people and drinking drinks and throwing ideas together. Now, in, in terms of process, this up to this point, we've been working on this for a couple of months, it has been one hell of an emotional process ups and downs and yelling and screaming and crying and loving and everything else. So tonight, what I want you to focus on is the process, not the product. 
We are an unrehearsed show. We will make mistakes. There are moments in that we are not rehearsed so that everybody here tonight has talked to someone on the telephone and we're just playing it by ear. And everybody has to be spontaneous at one point or another. The other thing is that we're giving out some Frosty Awards tonight, the Frosties, which means you, the audience, will have to participate in this process with us. Now, don't be shy if we call your name. So I, I just want you to remember there are two things we're trying to do. We're trying to jerk your nerve, which is piss you off or make you happy or make you laugh or bring a tear to your eye or help you feel a moment because that's what life is all about, the moment you carry with you. And we're trying to get you to participate in a process because those moments make you who you are. So you get it? Now, I'm going to apologize before I start. This is a very, very emotional night for me. So in terms of aesthetic process, you'll see me cry and snorkel and bawl and wipe my nose and laugh and everything else. And if I can get through the first introduction without crying, then I know I've made it. Our first performance this evening will be a dance performed by one of my closest friends, Shirley Myers. Shirley has traveled from outside of Philadelphia to be with us tonight. I've known this woman for a long, long time, and I adore her. She is someone of great integrity who loves the arts. We were roommates together in college. I got drunk and sang with the band at her wedding. <laughs> 17 years after we were together, we're back together dancing again, and we're business associates. Shirley's married to Dr. Phil. He gave me my flu shot for free last weekend, but he's not here tonight. He'll be here tomorrow. She's the mother of two beautiful girls, Jennifer Five and Samantha One and a Half. Excuse me, you people are killing my act over here, if you could like calm down a little bit. Um, and Shirley and I are brainwashing her kids to be dancers, so that's all fixed. Dancing tonight to Garth Brooks. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one of my favorite people in the whole world. Please give a warm welcome to Shirley Edmonds, dancer. Thank you. 
Florence Lyon Cabaret and Musical Theater. This isn't in my notes, but I know this. Watch this woman because one day she's going to be a big Broadway star. I know this. Um, Natalie's performed internationally. Here in New York, she packs the house at 88's in the village doing her unique one-woman show. Accompanying Natalie on piano tonight is, Dick, is Rick Delarada. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Natalie Gamson. Good evening. Great job. It's wonderful to be here as a singer tonight and not a waitress. Thank you, Denise, for this. I think we're ready.
you I'm from South Africa and I arrived last year, February. And I really did think that my troubles were over when I arrived here. You know, particularly, I mean, on, on many levels, but particularly in the area of shopping. I love clothes. And I thought, okay, a lot of big people in New York, I'm going to have a fine time. And I, yeah, yeah. I arrive here and I go to Soho, because I hear that's where to go. And uh, I'm walking along the street and I see this window with these gorgeous clothes. This window? My kind of clothes. Betsy Johnson. That's it, girl. I don't know if any of you have been to Betsy Johnson, but girl, I walked girl. in. I'm going, will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, walk into the shop and I look at the shopkeeper, I hold up this slinky little thing and say, do you have this in a size 16? <laughs> Who wears these clothes and in that size? I mean, who has the dash or the cash or the thighs <laughs> to buy such a gown? Suppose that you dare it, suppose you look fair. Okay, when you wear it, the flesh it bears. What if it tears? Who wears these clothes? Looks like that. It's more than clothes. It's the straight little nose, the complexion that glows, and the air of repose that goes with the clothes. Now, where do you go for those? Oh, wait, Nurik. How do you look like that? Listen to me, I'm a total wreck. Could I see this dreck all week? I'm media wise, I look fine for my size, and my clothes are all. I jog and I swim and I go to the gym and I watch every morsel and meal. Then I look at these girls and I feel like a hunchback. To wear these clothes, to live that role, to be seen in that hat, looking that in control. To dress like a dream and to seem so supremely in charge. Oh, 
Carlos Marcus is here sitting, sitting at the bar, and he designed this most gorgeous dress for me that I'm wearing tomorrow night because I thought he was going to be here tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, so I'm really sorry, Carlos, you have to come tomorrow. It's gorgeous. And it's on sale at Bergdorf Goodman, 850 bucks. Statue of Liberty in this dress. Uh, she looks okay. gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. Okay, but you we're gonna give out a frosty award now. So uh, let me dig in the bag. Mm -hmm. I gotta go talk to Elvis. Yeah, I've seen him before. The person most likely to lie about his sex life. Nick Harrington, if you'll come to the stage, we have an award for you. We have an award, Nick. Come on up. Nick Harrington, the person to most likely lie about a sex life. Thank you. I'm going to do another one. The person most likely to lie about anything. Who do you think, Sean? Uh, I don't know. This girl with blonde hair right, right here. Right here. Come on up. We got a, we got a prize for you. Vera, come on out. Vera. Vera, the person most likely to lie about anything. Well, I'll remember that. <laughs> anyway, Denise, I wanted to tell you that we were discussing Christmas gifts the other day. Yeah. And I think I found the perfect gift for my mother, who was a big Elvis fan. Oh, Has yeah, anybody seen the commercial for the Elvis dolls? Well, they've come out with Elvis dolls that look like Barbie and Ken dolls. But they're Elvis dolls, about six different dolls, different stages of Elvis's life, and she just loves Elvis. First of all, you have to know about Shirley's mom. She's a doll collector. She's an Elvis fanatic. Yes. Yeah, so this fits. Yeah, she and drives she a thinks, white She drives a white Cadillac. With an Elvis license plate. And she thinks he's still alive. But <laughs> yeah, no, my mom loves Elvis, too. Every Christmas, we play the um, Elvis Thank Christmas God. album. Oh, have a blue Christmas. So anyway, my mom thinks that Elvis is still alive. But me and Shirley kind of go along with that, right? Anyway, ready? Guess what? Is he still alive? I'm glad to be here in New York City. Uh, I, I really.